is Brittany with 4B Farms. I am about to go back in the garden and I wanted to share a few exciting things that's happening in my garden today. Okay, so this is my first year of growing the Luca Gourd and I wanted to give a kind of an update on it and show um, how it's doing. So it is the big plant on the trellis. Um, in my previous videos, I had showed you the trellis. It is working pretty well. As you can see, there are tons of bees flying around. Um, the trellis is handling it really well right now, but I don't think it's going to be really able to support um, the plant once the gourds get much larger. But I wanted to show you the gourds because I had never grown them before and it's so exciting to watch them grow. If you can see, that one's pretty big. We have a few of them. Um, you can see that one. They had these beautiful yellow flowers, which I was not expecting. Um, so it was a, a beautiful little surprise and I came out here and saw these just so breathtaking. And they attract so many bees. I come out here and they're just swarming it. Um, if you can see that, there's tons of them, but I wanted to share this with y'all because I had never, one, grown them or even seen them in person. So I didn't really know what it was gonna be like. And this is one plant um, so that it gets really large and it vines everywhere, it's drooping everywhere. And then on the other side, it is a, not as much, but it is um, my cucumbers. They only trellis up a little bit. Oh, there's another gourd growing and it's just really beautiful and I wanted to share that with y'all in case you were um, wanting to plant the gourds you just didn't know really anything about them like I did it was an experiment and I am super excited to grow them again next year and I'm excited just to watch the gourds grow um, and I'll take y'all along that process once we get the gourds and draw them out and get those loofahs so that is the Lufa Gourds. And then I wanted to show you another really exciting thing. Um, these tomatillo tomatoes, I mean, I have been on the hunt for these seeds for a few seasons now. And I finally found some and I got them to germinate, which was not super easy for me also. But then look, Finally, they're starting to grow some um, husk around them. I believe that's what they're called. Um, and I'm just so excited. Now, a few things uh, to remember if you are wanting to um, grow these tomatillos, um, they do need more than one plant to help pollinate each other. Um, so that's something to be aware of. I, I did not know that, honestly, at first when I planted them. I was just really excited for my salsa verde and I planted three together. So I lucked out um, and so they are starting to pollinate. Now I did have some, or I planted one more over here and it has gotten a lot bigger. It's a big, it's really bushier. Um, I have not um, cut it back or done anything. I really let this one go kind of wild. And so far it has not had, it does not have any husk um, on them. So I do not know if it will grow any. I'm just gonna let it go because it only has the one plant, like I said, but it is fairly close to these over here. So it might and it might not, but I'm gonna let it go. My peppers are coming on strong. They're looking really good. Um, we have several growing right now. We have some bell peppers down there. I don't know if you can see that. And our tomatoes are, they're looking okay. We definitely have a lot of tomatoes on the plants, but they're actually starting to ripe a little early. And so I'm a little concerned about that. Um, these are my brandy wine uh, tomatoes. And last year, they, I mean, they were as big as my hand. So I'm not real sure if I have done something to stunt the growth or, um, really what's going on with that. Um, I mean, I'm super excited that we have tomatoes. I'm not complaining, but I was really excited about those big, large tomatoes again this year. So hopefully they continue to produce. 
um, all of these on this side are are um, more of our cherry tomatoes and our Roma tomatoes. So those are more the smaller tomatoes, but they are full and they are looking really good. I'm really excited to can uh, try canning with these Roma tomatoes. I've never grown those before. Um, so I'm excited about those. These are our black from Tula. Oh, I'm sorry. I think these are blue cherry, blueberry cherry tomatoes. Um, and those are looking really well. And something I had mentioned in a couple of videos back that our marigolds were not blooming. I mean, you can see how tall they are. I mean, they're very bushy and big, but they're slowly starting to bloom. Um, so I'm not real sure what happened. These are seeds I saved. You can see some blooms trying to come, um, come through, but I saved these seeds last year and we had tons of flowers last year, so I'm not real sure if I did something wrong, um, if the weather's just been kind of funky, uh, and it really hasn't been ideal for them to, to bloom just yet, but they are slowly coming. You can start to see all the blooms in here. Um, so that was supposed to bloom to help with aphids and stuff on all of our tomatoes. Luckily, um, we haven't had too big of a problem so far with aphids. Knock on wood, well, I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> um, but hopefully those will help soon. And then from our tomato beds, we go over here. Um, so first we'll show you the eggplants. I'm super excited about those starting to flower. Um, these smaller ones are trying to make a comeback. Uh, I honestly don't know if they will or not. I'm just letting them go. They are starting to have some more growth in the middle. Um, and that one's flowering. Look how pretty that is. Get it. There it is. So I'm really excited about that. Our um, winter squash, our, I think this is spaghetti squash actually, is doing really, really well. This is the first year I've grown that um, successfully this far. Last year, they probably got about about that big and then they started rotting. Um, so I'm excited to make it this far with that one. And as you can see, these are our yellow curtain squash. And then these are our zucchinis. Um, so this zucchini plant looks really healthy. This yellow, the curtain squash did not, it's not looking great. I had three more squash and zucchini plants planted right there. Um, but unfortunately, I think vine borers got a hold of them because they started fizzling out really fast. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be replanting those uh, just because I have family that has tons of squash and zucchini and we've just been getting it from them this year. So we've been very blessed with that. Family sharing. Um, and then our green beans are not looking great. So this was kind of a trial run. Um, Last year, I grew um, pole beans, and we had a trellis system and everything, and that just had so many beans. And I really wanted to do more of a bush bean this year, um, so I could grow more in a smaller area. Um, but something I am realizing, beans just do not do great in raised beds. I I did three different types of beans. I did lima beans. I did my um, uh, the Texas Big Boy beans, but uh, I think they're more of like a purple whole pea. Um, so we'll see once they grow, and they they do make beautiful flowers, and they're a beautiful plant. Um, but growing beans in a raised bed, you you just don't get that many beans from these bush beans, um, especially if you're wanting to can. Um, we have not even gotten one meal out of these 10 beans. Uh, these, I think they're, they might be French filet. I'll have to look again, but they're just a, a regular green bean, nothing fancy. Um, and they just, I don't, I think we just need to plant a lot more and I think they need to be in ground to do better. Um, I don't know really an update on the Texas big boy or the purple peas because this looks like it's gonna produce quite a bit on one plant because they're coming all over. Um, and I have 10 of them planted, so that might produce a whole lot. I doubt 
enough to can. We'll have to see. And then the lima beans, I'm not sure with those as well because uh, they just haven't produced any beans at all. So I don't know how much we'll get from them out of the, the plants that we've planted so far. Another thing I wanted to show y'all is I did dig up all of our potatoes. Um, they're inside, but they only got probably about the size of a golf ball, honestly. Um, they didn't do great, but we um, dug them all up because of the plants had actually died back from blight, I believe. Um, so it wasn't a complete fail, but it wasn't great. Now this bed is probably the most embarrassing bed I have because it is so weeded. There's so much grass. Um, and honestly, I'm just gonna let it go. These are, we have tons of tomatoes growing. These tomatoes aren't looking terrible. They're, they do have, um, they're producing some fruit. They have some flowers. I'm just gonna let them keep going. I had high hopes for this new bed. Um, I wanted a nice trellis system out here. I wanted um, an irrigation system and things just kind of fell through. I, we've just been busy and it is what it is. And this is what we got. So I'm just happy that they are still alive producing fruit and have lots of blooms still. <laughs> Um, I know I have a lot of fells in the garden um, with all the grass and um, no, I didn't put my trellis systems up and I mean it's just one thing after another but I just want y'all to remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. Gardening is supposed to be a fun experience so don't get bogged down with all of the stressors of not getting this done and not that done and this doesn't look great and this plant's struggling and I mean there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong in the garden and that's okay. Take those opportunities to learn, try to do better next year, and just enjoy the process. I'm just going to keep trying and keep doing, and I really hope you do. Well, that's all I really wanted uh, to share with y'all today with the Liver Gourds, and as you can see, I'm underneath getting some shade from them, um, and the tomatillos. I was so excited about those, and we have some new growth on the eggplants and the uh, um, spaghetti squash, and lots of new things um, that are growing and I'm learning more and I hope that you are too and if you have any questions uh, please leave them below um, if you haven't already please like and subscribe to our channel and just thanks for following along